Keep singing. I don't know about you. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we bless you.
Thank you.
Today we're going to come your way in two 
times, hallelujah, this morning and in the evening, hallelujah, 6 p.m. will be coming your way again. Hallelujah, it's a wonderful day and we're going to make uh, good use of it. Amen. Tell your Bible with me if you can. Tell your Bible with me. To 2 Corinthians chapter 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Oh, hallelujah. By the way, happy Easter to you. We are missing you guys. Hey, terribly, terribly. Praise the name of the Lord. What a wonderful God we serve. See, this all depends. Bible says that how good and pleasant it is when we come together. Hallelujah. We are missing that kind of atmosphere. Praise God. But listen, it won't be long. It won't be long. We'll all be back together in the name of Jesus. It won't be long. Hallelujah. God bless you. Keep your spirit moving in the name of Jesus. Keep your spirit moving in Jesus' mighty name. Anyway, let's go into the word of God. Are you ready? Take your Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 5. Chapter 5. We're going to read it all the way down. That is where the team of our fasting, the team of Easter program, everything that is where it derived from. Amen. But number one, where we are starting from, it says that for we know, we know that if our earthly house, this body, of this tabernacle were dissolved, that is not all. We have a building of God. And a house not made with hands. Eternal in heavens. Praise the name of the Lord. So they can stop us. They can say all kinds of things. Hallelujah. But we are still the temple of God. Amen. And even if we are not here on this earth. There is always a place prepared for us. Amen. Through Jesus Christ going to the cross. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. You need to understand this. And it says number two. For in this we grow. We need to have that expectation. We need to have that hope. We grow. We go on endlessly desiring that that should be our goal. You see, Christ did not die for us, for us to stay here forever. No. Amen. The aim, the aim is that at the end when we leave this vessel, Hallelujah. That will be with the Father. Say Amen. That when this vessel gives way, he's saying that there is another house that has already been prepared by Jesus going on the cross. There is another house. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And it goes on to say, it is eternal. This one is temporal, but the one that he has prepared for us, it is eternal. It is glorious. No one can take it from you anymore. This is the reason why we celebrate, we thank God for our lives, because he has prepared something forever for us. Amen. When we go on, so he says that we grow endlessly desiring to be clothed upon our house which is from heaven we want to be there number three so he says if so be that be if so be that being clothed we shall not be found naked for we that are in the tabernacle do grown being bedded. No 
not for that we would be unclothed. No. We don't want to go away from here. Praise the name of the Lord. We don't want to distance ourselves from Christ. We are happy. Praise the name of the Lord. But more so, but clothed upon that mortality might not, but, but mortality might be swallowed up of life. Number five. Now, he that had wrought us for the same soul thing is God. The one who did this is God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We are reading, if you are joining us, we are reading 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and at the moment we are on verse number 5. Hallelujah. The one who did this, he says that now, he that had wrought, called up, brought up, hallelujah, us, for the self saying, then is God. And when you continue, say is that, who also have given us, have given unto us the earnest of the spirit, you have the spirit of God in you. For what? So he says, therefore, we are also confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in this body, hallelujah, we are absent from the Lord. When we make this body our home, when we prepare everything for this and not come out, hallelujah, he says that, when we do that, we please this body, we are absent from God. And that is not why Christ, Christ died for us. He died for us that we will have fellowship with the Father. Not just any fellowship that here today, gone tomorrow, we will have intimate fellowship forever, constant, hallelujah, with our father so he is admonishing us not to be at home in this body not to foster the flesh and leave the spirit because our main place is being in the spirit is being in the spirit let's continue people of God and he says number six Therefore, we are always confident, knowing that whilst when we make an attempt, when we decide to stay, this please this body. You know that is where the devil wants us to be, pleasing ourselves, worshiping this body, but that does not take us into the presence of God. That does not bring the glory that he has set in his spirit for us. So what do we do? We need to stay away. Bible says that we should not fulfill the desire of the flesh. We should not fulfill it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's come to verse number 7. So he says in order to do that, let's confirm his word. For we walk by faith. Every spiritual man was by faith. Every spiritual woman was by faith. Every spiritual man walks by faith. Seriously. They do not allow their senses to detain and make way for them. No. Hallelujah. Where the majority are following something, spiritual person will make a decision to go the other way. Mighty God, we thank you. So he says, we do, we walk by faith, but not by sight. Number eight, we are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent 
because of what Christ has done, we want to be absent from this body. Not that we wish to die. No, 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 no. But we will not live to please this body. Oh, Jesus' name. We will not live to please this body. Our hope will always be in the word of God and that which he commands us to do. I want to encourage somebody. Today, Christ went on the cross. Today. And as I was saying yesterday, see, today it marks a big and major part in our walk with God. Because today is the day, hallelujah, a day like this is the day that he confirmed that it is finished. That the price tag on your earth for you to be condemned was paid for. So, if that has taken place, then we don't live our life not pleasing ourselves anymore. If indeed this is what has happened, then we need to know and start walking. The reason why you pay for that. May the Lord God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Karaba Sandari Hakadaya. Lebro Shaka de Mehekabaha. I want you to stay tuned. And let's go through this teaching and then we'll pray. Hallelujah. So we are confident. I say, we rather be to be absent from the body and be present in the spirit with the Lord. Wherefore, we labor, we work on it. Now, whether absent or present, hallelujah, we may be accepted of him. Number two, for we must all appear. Hey, we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. That everyone may receive the things done in this body according, according to that he had done. Whether it be good or bad. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord God bless you. And lift you up. In the name of Jesus. I want us to read it on before we move on to other end, other things. He says that knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God. And I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. For we Commend not ourselves again unto you. We don't do that. But we give you occasion to glory our on our behalf that ye may have somewhat to answer them which glory in appearance and not in, in the heart. Praise God. Number 13. For whether we be whether we be beside ourselves, it is God. Or whether we be sober, it is for your cause. For we love, or for the love of God, constrain us. Because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we all died. Praise God. Number 15. And that he died for all. That they which live should no longer live for themselves. But unto him which died for them. And listen to this. And rose again. Wherefore, henceforth, we, we know no man after the flesh we know no man after the flesh but ye though have no Christ after the flesh yes 
Now henceforth, it is not that way anymore. Amen. We know him no more. Then come to verse number 17 as we all know. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, if you are in Christ, because he went on the cross, Bible says yes, that he's a new creature. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Do you want to lift up your hands and bless the name of the Lord? This thing has not gone away. If anyone, he says, if, if you have accepted him, you are in him, his spirit is in you, he says that you are a new person. He is a new creature. All things has passed away and he says behold all things are become new all things are of God who have reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and have given us the ministry of reconciliation as we have said before to wait that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses. No, Christ died to take away our sins. Christ died to take away our position. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord of destruction. Now get this thing right. And when everything is done, this is the new position been given to us as his children. He says that now then we are ambassadors for Christ. We are now ambassadors of Christ for Christ. We are to work. We are to avail ourselves. We are to allow ourselves for Christ to work through us. The whole Easter the, the reason why he went on the cross that we will become representative here on earth for Christ before we die and go. Why? To manifest his glory. To share that which we think we know we have. We need to know. We need to let others know that this is what we have. Praise the name of the Lord. And flesh cannot do that. Human understanding cannot do that unless we allow the Spirit of God to dwell in us. I want to go on with you, please. So he says that we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's death be reconciled to God. For he had made him to be a sin for us. I don't know how important this is to us. He has made Christ to be a sin because he went to the cross. Because he sacrificed his life. Because he took our place. Your place of destruction is not there anymore because there was a great exchange. Oh, praise God. Father, we thank you and we bless you in the name of Jesus. We give you praise. There was a great exchange. A great exchange. He became sin by taking our place then the devil cannot put any embargo, any claims on you anymore. Why? Because you are not in his sense anymore as a child of God. But what Paul was saying that we are to make sure that after we have come out from that place, we don't go back because we are ambassadors. We, are, we need to show, we need to uh, bring forth the glory of God. Now come with me to Romans chapter 5. Romans chapter 5. Quickly. We're going to pray. I 
that stay with us. Today is Easter. We want to thank God. We want to bless Him. We want to glorify Him. But people of God, more importantly, we need to know. And if I may say a little bit here. See, this is why a lot of us are struggling. Because they look as if we don't know what we have. majority of us we call ourselves people of God but we don't know what it entails to be a child of God Romans chapter 5 Romans chapter 5 glory 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 hallelujah glory hallelujah father we thank you we give you praise Listen to what the word of God says here. Hallelujah. Romans 5. Let's look at verse number 6. It says, When we, when you and I were utterly helpless, we were helpless, useless, good for nothing. And I believe if we say this now, I believe I, you understand now. Because it looks as if at the moment that the, the situation in which we find ourselves, hallelujah, your money will not be able to do anything for you. Whatever you have, will not, your education will not be able to do anything for you. And that was the stage we were in before Christ came. We were helpless. Now listen, Christ came, say Christ came, hallelujah, hallelujah, at just the right time and died for us sinners. In the nick of time, Bible says that Christ came when we were all headed to the slaughterhouse when we were all heading to the place of condemnation Bible says that Christ came for God looked on us the world and loved us and gave his only begotten son Christ came Christ came hallelujah church be with me praise the name of the Lord just at the right time and died for us. Number seven. Now, most people will not be willing to die for an upright person. Though someone might perhaps be willing to die for a person who is especially good. But listen to this. But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ Jesus to die for us while we were all sinners. And since we have been made right in Christ's sight by the blood of Christ, hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. You want to lift up your hands and bless his name. Bless his name. We have been made right. See, he was saying, that for a special person, maybe someone may do that. Hallelujah. But you see, you don't need anyone to do that for you. Christ has already done that. You are not under any curse because Christ has already done that. And he will certainly save us from God's condemnation. Number 10, for since our friendship with God was restored by the death of his son, while we were, yes, while we were still his enemy, we will certainly be saved through the life of his son. Number 11, so now we can rejoice. In our wonderful new relationship 
with God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends of God. This is the reason why he went on the cross. This is the reason why he died for us. Praise the name of the Lord. He says that, and when Adam sinned, sin also entered into the world. And then Adam's sin brought death. So death spread to everyone. For everyone sinned. Yes, people sinned even before the law was given. But it was not counted as sin because they were not yet, there were not yet any law to break. 14. Still, everyone died. From the time of Adam to the time of Moses, even those who did not obey explicit commandment of God as Adam did, as Adam did. Now, Adam is a symbol a representation of Christ who was yet to come. But look at 15. If you are looking into your Bible, please bear with us. But there is a great difference between Adam's sin and God's gracious gift for the sin of this one man, Adam, brought death to many, but even greater, God's wonderful grace and his gift of forgiveness to many through this other man, Jesus Christ. Jesus took away the burden, the curse that Adam brought. That is why he went on the cross. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are praying on the subject. We are to be ready as children of God. We are to be ready. If you have never been serious with your work with God, we need to take sin back and ask ourselves strong questions. Who are we? Why are we here on earth? Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. And we give you praise. We give you glory. In the name of Jesus. Adam said, and Adam said, brought a great curse. Better. Life without hope. Amen. So now, if Christ has died for you and I, then what's next? What are we here for? You see, Bible is commanding us that then we cannot leave. I see those who don't have hope anymore. Praise the name of the Lord. We are to gather every strength in us and tell others and make them know the hope that we have and the power that is in us. Hallelujah. Bible also made us to understand that when Jesus took away our sin, we did not become hopeless. We were not just like that. He gave us power to live in the spirit Hallelujah. That's right for people. Ladies and gentlemen, maybe this is the point that we have not yet, yet, yet come. Because the moment you get here, your walk with God must change. Must be on a different level. Colossians chapter 2. Colossians chapter 2. Colossians 2. So if we are here celebrating Easter, if 
you are celebrating Easter with your family, let them know, let them understand. And we want you to know that a great thing, a great price has been paid for you and I. And Bible says that we are to glorify God in this body. We need to command this body to glorify God and also in the spirit because both belongs to God. That's what the Bible says. Both belongs to Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Colossians chapter 2. Chapter 2. Both. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's read verse number 13. Are you with me? Stay tuned. We are with you. We are with you. We are coming your way in power and in glory in the name of Jesus. He says, number 13, Colossians 2.13. And you were dead because of your sins and because of your sinful nature was not yet cut away. Then God made you alive with Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus. God made us new, alive with Christ. Glory. You have been made new with Christ. Your position of sin is no more there. Your position of condemnation is no more there. Your position of guilt is no more there. Your position of failure is no more there. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. You have been made alive. Christ going on the cross. We have been made alive, alive, alive. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. For he forgave all our sins. Number 14, number 14. And please, you need to know this. He canceled the record of the charges against us by Jesus going on the cross. Hallelujah. He canceled the charges and took it away by nailing it to the cross. Whoa, Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the point. This is the moment that as a child of God, you need to understand that there is no condemnation placed on you. No. Because here, if you are taking the word of God as it is, hallelujah, this is what he has done. If you have allowed Jesus Christ into your life, this is what he has done. Took it, and when he took it, Bible says that he nailed it on the cross. He finished it on the cross. He canceled it on the cross. Any word against you, any condemnation against you, any power against you, nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it on the cross. The reason why he was nailed on the cross to open it to let the devil know these charges have been taken. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, when, 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 when there is a proceedings going on in a court, at the end of the proceedings, there is a determination. And once the determination is out, they print it out 
and they hang it so that everybody will know the end result. Hallelujah. In your case, in my case, that the, the, the determination reads, hallelujah, it is finished. Praise the name of the Lord. No case to answer in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we bless you. And then, cancel it. Nail it on the cross. 15. And then we'll pray. 15. Colossians chapter 2. Verse number 15. Look into it. The book of Colossians chapter 2. Verse number 15. As a child of God, listen, 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 listen. When he nailed it on the cross openly, hallelujah, this is what it was there. You can read it. It says that in this way he disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities. Oh Jesus. In this way. He shamed them publicly. That is why he printed it there. He put it there. By his victory over them on the cross. He put it there for them to know you have no power anymore. You have no power anymore. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things to us. This is what we've been taught. This is what we've been, uh, we, we know, hallelujah, but we are not just taking it and go home and be fearful again. What's the point? But it says, he did that. He did that. So don't let anyone condemn you. Don't let anyone condemn you. Father, we thank you. If we have not yet accepted Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior. Child of God is so simple. It is so simple. These things that we've been reading and reading, it is true. Hallelujah. But if you are not in Christ, it's not going to be good for you. It's not going to work for you. We want to give you this opportunity today Good Friday and that is why it's called Good Friday because he died for us this great exchange took place so if you have not yet accepted him we want you to lift up your hands and we'll pray with you before we go through today's prayer points as your hands have been lifted up, we want to pray. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I bless you for allowing your son Jesus, for allowing your son Jesus to die in my place. To die in my place. I open up my mouth and I confess that Jesus is the Lord, my Savior, my Commander, my Deliverer, my Healer. I accept Him today and for the rest of my life. All the days of my life, Jesus, stay in my heart. And let your Spirit be in me and walk with me in Jesus' name. If you have prayed this prayer, child of God. You are now a child of God. Church cannot place this authority over you. No pastor, no man can do that. But Jesus placed this authority over you by accepting him. May the Lord God bless you. And may the Lord
don't go lift you up. I pray for you that there is a tender run in your life in the name of Jesus. I pray for you as you have had this encounter with God. Let his spirit move you about in the name of Jesus. Now we're going to pray. Remember we are still fasting. Hallelujah. And we are encouraging each and everyone. There is another session coming this evening. So please don't go and break your fast. We are still praying in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Pray. The first prayer we are praying. Praise. Please, let's all pray together. Pray sincerely. Wholeheartedly as a child of God. That you. That the will of the Father will be confirmed. By receiving the grace to please him. And him alone. In all the things you do. You see, this is the moment. This is the position. This is the way that sometimes we see ourselves. We do things that are not of God. And we still call ourselves people of God. This kind of hypocrisy. And Bible saying that if we have been called, if we have been taken, if we are in the house of God, if we are the children of God, then our way of life should be different. Begin to pray with me that you will please God and you please God alone in the name of Jesus. You please God and God alone in the name of Jesus. You will please God and God alone in the name of Jesus. You will please God and God alone. You will not be fearful. I say you will not be fearful. Nothing will move you about anymore. Hallelujah. You know, we know where we are going. Even, 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 please, let me see, by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I think you can agree with me. Even if this world is coming to an end today, he said that we know where we are going. When this body fails, hallelujah, you and I, as children of God, we have another hope. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. We have another hope. Hallelujah. Sometimes the reason why our hope in the Lord is not that strong because we have made home in this body. We are so comfortable here in this body. But if our hope is in him, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. He says, even when this body fail is dissolved, there is another one. Hallelujah. Somebody begin to pray with me. Begin to pray with me. That your walk you will please God. That your walk you will please God. That your walk you will please God. Libra Saka de Maha. That your walk you will please God. Libra Sandebere Andayaba. Libra Shabarababa. No, yes, Lomaka Dabele Andayaba. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Libra Sandayabra Kayaba. Libra Shabarababa. In the name of Jesus, la debra so taye makaya ba, ima tabe ne ekaba ya ba ba, lebro sange ne anda ya ba, lebra sando ne anda ya ba, ya dada shabara ba. In the name of Jesus, ya kaba ya dada ya, ya dada ne ne ya taya ba, ya bako sande ne. In the name of Jesus, la bo. That we will not leave to please any man and love the hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Mama Mia did it. In the 
name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
Bye-bye.